Okay, guys, Akumaldo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. So, <clears throat> that's nice, isn't it? Uh, this is the one hour chart. Uh, Bitcoin has, has been in this Fibonacci channel here, trying to break this 786 region here, this 786 level here, and every time that it tried, it has retraced, and we have retraced to this red line, to this green line here, yes, which was, by the way, let me show you guys, the 38, 20% of this retracement here from the two to the three. Fib retracement, swinging from this low here to this high here, this yellow line, which is the, the top of the wave three. And here we have touched the 38, 20, okay? And now we are showing some what? Some uh, <coughs> reaction. I don't think we can call this a wave four, okay? This is part of wave four. This would be a way A, B, and then we would have a C here for a 50%. Hmm. It's not impossible, but I think that we are going up here and wave one is not in yet. Perhaps we're gonna have a wave one here. Uh, but if, if, if wave one is in, here's where we would have the wave three, touching the 618 here. And then a retracement, and then a wave five, touching here the 786 again, to finish it uh, at the 7500, okay? Touching the 618%, okay? Uh, whether we have, whether we have already put in wave one of this last wave five is yet to be confirmed, okay? I think that we have, we would finish wave one touching here the 50% of this FIB channel, okay? So we need to wait a little bit. Then it would retrace 50% 50, 50 or 618% like here, and then it would have a wave three going like this. Same targets here for my short, right? If we are going up like this, I would put my short position a little bit higher. I would put my target here. I would start laddering my shorts at this resistance here, like here at the 618 Fibonacci here of this Fib channel, okay? This is the T1 here, the T2 here, okay? This is the here we have the this green box here. Sorry, <clears throat> 7500, 7300 here. This is the range that I am in that Bitcoin might land, might put in a new high. Okay. Yes. Um so do I have a bullish count? Yes, it's possible that we have a bullish count here. It is possible. It is possible that this is a pivot low here and then we are going up. Uh, even though it's it's a, uh, this kind of a movement here, it's not really impulsive in any way whatsoever because we have a, a B and a C. We have a, a corrective pattern here instead of a, of a motive. Okay, nevertheless, it's always a, a surprise when we are dealing with the markets. So we might have indeed a, kind of a, a bullish run here, right? Let's see the, the, the one hour, the daily chart, I'm sorry. Oh, damn it. What's going on? With, yes, let me turn this off. Um, so... So far, so good. Huh? We have this wave B here that I am saying that we are about to touch it. We are about to put in the 7400 7, here, almost touching this yellow line here. Perhaps we touch this yellow line, this trend yellow line here that has been a, a old trend line. 
uh, that has formed in uh, this was what January and I touch we failed to touch it here but we touch it here so this fib line here is forming this shape here that is going down okay this is a falling edge okay and uh, we have this B that might touch here okay the fifth the 61865 we might have something like this remember I have been saying this that we might not have a new low we might go and put in this the B here as high as um, 7500 and we go down but we fail to touch we fail to establish uh, a new low even compared to this low here we fail we fail to establish a new local low and we we have this blue line here this blue dotted line let me make it solid okay we have this blue dotted line here as a resistance as a support I'm sorry and then we would like have a triangle a b c d e and then we would finish the correction it's possible to have an a b c d e to end the wave z in this correction here okay this is possible that would happen that would mean that the the bitcoin wouldn't really uh really go down to those levels here that we have those algo targets here that would invalidate those algo targets we would, we would fail to go down here and we would go up okay this is one option this is hypothetical but what i am inclined to say is that we are gonna put a wave c here that's gonna reach at least 100 percent of wave a this is strong wave a here okay at least so we have those two targets here one is 3500 okay or perhaps a bit higher 3600 and the other one is 4300 okay but first we need to establish we need to have a strong wave b that's why i think that we might hit this yellow resistance here with together with the 618 here i don't know if you can see the 618 here let me show you guys here um sorry uh here we have it 61865 is this region here together by the way and a strong huge confluence that is the six the 618 here of the whole structure the 618 here guys that we have here is the 618 from the whole correction of bitcoin from this whole structure here for this whole wave three so this is a awesome amazing confluence and this is going to be a huge resistance and is confluent with this fib retracement here of this wave a here so we have this awesome target here let me mark it here we have this awesome target because we have a confluence we are always looking for confluences uh, more data giving us more confidence that we are gonna uh, have a, that we are it's more piece of evidence that gives to us more confidence right this is a really nice spot here 7500 okay together with the 618 of the whole structure and the 618 65 percent of this retracement from wave a from this whole wave a here that the way i label it this whole structure here okay this would be a nice place for a wave b guys we have the trend line here holding it and then we would go down to put a wave c okay uh talking about um talking about uh, i'm sorry a lot of information here let me take some of this out um exponential um, um let me take the the where is the this I don't want this now okay guys uh, we have the EMA here as I said yesterday we would we are trying to touch the 100 EMA let me zoom this thing without we can't see anything of course let me zoom in this thing okay we tried 
to break the 55 EMA here. This was what yesterday. And we had we failed to touch the 21 EMA. And now we are we are now in a spinning top. We are trying to go up, right? Uh, if we finish like this and then we, we will try to get to the 100 EMA, this is the yellow one. And what is nice, guys, again, another confluence. The 200 EMA resistance, this blue line, this, sorry, white line here, okay? This white line here is at the same level that we have all those confluences here. The yellow line, trend line, the 61865% of this whole structure here, plus the 618 of the whole Bitcoin retracement. So we have this um, this huge confluence, guys. This huge confluence. You see that if it, this goes up here, we have a, a candle that touches the 200 EMA here and reacts down, it wouldn't be a surprise because we have a lot of confluence here. Okay, a lot. Okay, so we have the EMA, we have the, the Fibonacci retracement, we have the Fibonacci retracement of the whole structure, so a lot of confluence. So yes, I expect one more wave up here and then down. Okay, then down to form the final wave, one, two, three, four, five, a motive impulse wave down here, or perhaps, perhaps a diagonal. Okay, we, too soon to tell. Okay, uh, so we might touch it here. Okay. This is the daily chart. And this is... Um... Oh, come on. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> oh, come on. What's going on? Uh, what is the weekly chart? The weekly chart, we don't have a lot of information. Um, in... Um, Yes, we have a, a nice confluence here as well because we have the 21 EMA here. The 21 EMA, this is the blue one here. It's exactly, not exactly, but it's at the region that I said that it's likely to, the Bitcoin is likely to, to hit. Yes, this line here, 7400. So we might break it, have a week here trying to break this the 21 EMA and then we would go down. See, Bitcoin tried to touch the 55 EMA, this is the red one here, and it it retraced, but the week is the the week hasn't finished yet. Okay, so I marked it with this with this yellow line here. We have a <laughs> trying to touch it here, but this is it's just trying. I think it's gonna do like this. You see? Trying to touch it, but then failed and try to touch, but then fail. Okay, this is the 21 EMA. Again, another confluence showing to us that yes, we might go to this region of 7500 and my one, my daily chart here is not working. Amazing. Okay. So I think it's uh, it, that's it, right? I think we, we have enough data, enough information for us to be confident that at least 7,500 is a, is, a, is a reasonable target and it's a likely target for Bitcoin, okay? Um, <clears throat> I won't present a bullish count because I, I, I honestly, with this structure here, with this structure here that I labeled W, X, Y, and then we have this C, it, this whole structure here looks, uh, is, is screaming correction for me. It's not a motive impulse or a motive whatever. It's not a motive, it's a correctional structure, okay? It's, it's organized in trees, it's not organized in fives, so it's difficult to, to, uh, I would like you guys to present me a different count, of course. If you if you have a different count, if you have a, a bullish count that makes sense, I I would love to hear about it. Yes, it's we are we are here to learn together. And the <coughs> pardon me. The daily chart is not showing. I'm literally. 
reload this thing here. So that's it. This is what I'm expecting now. Okay, I'm expecting this, those two targets here, and I'm gonna short it. If this, if this is not what's happening, if we go way higher, I'm gonna have a stop loss like when we break this channel here. Okay, let's let me talk about the stop loss. If we break this channel here, okay, this channel here, this is green because it's my, it's I would buy. If we go to, if we, if I see that we break this channel here, you see the one hundred percent here breaking this channel, I would stop my my loss here, okay, like seven eight hundred around this region, okay. That's it. I I, I want I won't do anything different. Okay, uh, one more piece of information that I would like to to tell you guys about is uh let me t let me uh, yes it's a lot it's a lot of information i'm sorry guys just one more thing comparing this cluster that we have here if you count one two three four five six seven eight actually eight one two three four five six seven Eight, eight, nine, ten, eight, nine. Because I'm trying to compare with this structure that we have here, this same. Yes, I, I think I I have mentioned this that we might have the same fractal here, eight pivots. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I'm looking pretty stupid. <laughs> I need to, to to pause it and do it. But you have the you have ten pivots, ten points here, and ten points here. Would, we would we would we would now start the last one, the tenth, and would need, then we would put the last one. This is another piece of uh, of information that gives us confidence that this is going down. Yeah. But <laughs> who knows, right? We might go up as well. Okay. So uh, that's it. That's it, guys. Um, if you wanna know, um, if you wanna know more about technical analysis, you can always join us in our Discord group. It's a lot of fun there. We are always helping each other, giving giving uh, entry points for different coins, altcoins, discussing about Bitcoin and crypto. Okay, the link is in the description. And if you like my content, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't followed me on social media, on Twitter, please consider doing so. Okay. Uh, have a wonderful weekend. Cheers. Bye-bye.